Hello friends. Today we're going to talk about one of the most ambitious projects in modern aviation, the Sequoia 70 Okotnik B, a heavy stealth combat drone developed in Russia. Origins and Development the idea of a heavy strike UAV in Russia emerged in the early 2010s, when it became clear that drones could no longer be limited to reconnaissance alone. Militaries around the world were already deploying unmanned systems capable of not just gathering intelligence, but also destroying ground and air targets. In 2011, the Sequoia Design Bureau received the task of creating such an aircraft. This is how the project S-70 Okotnik, meaning Hunter, was born. Work on the drone was carried out in strict secrecy. The first prototype was revealed only in 2019, and just a few months later it completed its maiden flight. Design and Appearance The S-70 immediately drew attention with its unusual shape. It is built using a flying wing design, meaning it has no conventional fuselage or tail section. The entire aircraft is essentially one large wing. This configuration is chosen to reduce radar visibility, making the Okotnik much harder to detect by enemy systems. The drone is about 14 meters long, with a wingspan of 19 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is roughly 20 tons, putting it in the same size class as a modern manned fighter jet. But the crucial difference is, the Okotnik is fully unmanned. Engine and Performance the early prototypes are powered by the AL-31F jet engine, the same engine used in Su-27 fighter jets. Future versions are expected to receive a more advanced power plant designed to reduce the drone's heat signature and improve stealth. The S-70 can reach speeds of up to 1,000 km per hour, about 620 miles per hour, with an operational range of around 6,000 km. That gives it the ability to carry out long-range strike missions without refueling. Armament and Strike Capabilities The Okotnik is designed primarily for strike missions. Inside its fuselage are internal weapons bays capable of carrying up to 2.8 tons of payload, including precision-guided bombs and air-to-surface or even air-to-air -air missiles. Using internal bays is crucial for maintaining stealth. If weapons were mounted on external pylons, the drone would become more visible to radar, so for critical operations all its armaments are carried internally. Teaming with the Su-57 One of the most exciting concepts is the loyal wingman role. The Okotnik is being developed to operate in coordination with the Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jet. In such scenarios, the Su-57 would act as the command aircraft, directing one or more Okotnik drones to perform reconnaissance, jam enemy systems, or even carry out direct strikes. This approach represents a whole new level of combat operations, the pilot remains safe in the manned jet, while the high-risk missions are handled by unmanned partners. Testing and Progress The Okotnik's first flight took place in August 2019. The maiden mission lasted about 20 minutes at an altitude of 600 meters. Soon after, the drone began performing more complex tasks, long-distance flights, weapons trials, and joint missions with Su-57 fighters. In 2020, Russia's Ministry of Defense officially released footage of the S-70 flying together with the Su-57. This demonstration confirmed that the concept of piloted drone cooperation was more than just theory. Reports suggest the Okotnik has already tested real combat capabilities, including the release of guided bombs and missile launches, proving it can go beyond test flights and perform in operational roles. Stealth Technology one of the Okotnik's most important features is its low radar visibility. Its body is coated with radar-absorbing materials, and the overall shape is carefully engineered to scatter radar signals instead of reflecting them back. With weapons carried inside its bays, the drone becomes extremely difficult to detect. This means the S-70 can penetrate deep into hostile airspace and strike high-value targets with minimal chance of being intercepted. Future Prospects Serial production of the Okotnik is expected to begin in the coming years, with the first units projected to enter service sometime in the mid-2020s. The drone could change the way Russia uses its air power. It can perform deep reconnaissance, strike heavily defended targets, escort manned aircraft, and even operate as part of an autonomous drone swarm in the future. Global Context Other nations are working on similar drones. For example, the United States has the Northrop Grumman X-47B, and China has developed the GJ-11 Sharp Sword. 
However, the Russian Okotnik is unique in its close integration with the Su-57. Rather than being a standalone aircraft, it is envisioned as part of a broader combat system. If the project succeeds, Russia will possess one of the most powerful and versatile combat UAVs in the world. Conclusion The Sequoia 70 Okotnik B is more than just a drone. It represents a step into the future of warfare, where unmanned systems will play an increasingly dominant role. With its speed, range, stealth design, and heavy armament, the Okotnik combines many of the qualities of a manned fifth-generation fighter, but without putting pilots at risk. Most importantly, its ability to operate alongside the Su-57 opens the door to entirely new tactics, where manned and unmanned aircraft work together as a single fighting force. The future of military aviation is already here, and the Okotnik is one of the clearest signs of what's to come.